Hey guys, welcome back to Bloodborne. We just finished exploring a little side area that had actually some really cool secrets and a bunch of stuff going on. Now I'm going to spend some time redoing a chunk of stuff that we lost through when I lost that footage. We're going back in that territory. So, Chalice Ritual, we're going to be, yeah, it's another Chalice Ritual. Some, some of you don't like those, but I'm trying to do all the content in this game, and there's actually a lot of bosses that are exclusive to the Chalice Dungeon, so I want to progress through here. So, Hinter Tomb Chalice. If you saw episode 51 when it first went up, this, you actually already saw the first chunk of this. I took the episode down when I lost the footage because I did the first boss in one session, then the next boss and all of the n n Nightmare of Mensis in the, the next session, which is where we, where I saw the Axe guy before, so when I realized I couldn't finish it, I just took it down. But then I realized, and I, this is really embarrassing, I actually started going through all of the Child's Dungeons for several hours with the Axe guy trying to re-clear all the way back up there so I could do the dungeon again. Then I realized I could just remove the chalice and put it back on, and I can just re-spawn the dungeon, because that's how chalice dungeons works. So, there we go. <laughs> God, I, w I, wish I, get, I wish I could get so much of today back. If you ever wonder why I play so many indie games, uh, besides the fact that I just adore them, it's because I can use like 100% of my footage and oh man, there's so much legwork that goes into these uh, AAA RPGs, which I love by the way, but man, a lot of time that is recorded or spent playing that is not useful for making episodes. So yeah, I figure we'll do a couple of a... Uh, we'll do one or maybe even two Chalice Dungeons, then go to Birgenworth, which is I believe the last area of the game, then we'll do maybe one or two again, and then take out the final bosses of the game, because we're we are pretty much done with the main campaign. Uh, I meant to pace the dungeons better throughout the campaign, but around episode 50, when I was recording one before, I lost my prog I lost that recording, and that really that 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 removed one of the times I meant to do a chalice dungeon because we lost the footage. But now I'm doing it again. So, in many ways, I also just made my own mistakes. So the question here is, how good is my memory? So right off the bat. Here we have the boss gate in a nice, convenient, obvious location right at the beginning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use my daggers for a bunch of this run if I can. Just for the sake of variety. I see you hiding there, waiting to probably wake up. Here we go. I'm actually excited to do this one to make sure that you guys get to see it, because I don't remember which part of the dungeon it was exactly, but I know part one, one part of it definitely had some really cool areas. It's definitely worth doing each chalice dungeon that's not called a root dungeon, which we have later realized. I later realized that the root ones are randomly generated. The ones that are not called root dungeons are actually pre-made by From Software, and so they're extra worth checking out. Not only because they're more thoughtfully created and in more interestingly laid out, but also because they. That I, I think that's where we're going to be able to find a lot of those exclusive bosses, where uh, we're going to find even more. Oh, hello, friend. We're gonna find way more repeated content and stuff like that as we explore root dungeons in particular. Just because that's, like, by definition what they are. Hello, friend! That was spooky. Oh my god. Oh right, that's what we have to deal with here. The freak- the, the weirdly fast double side wielding assholes. They basically seem to be the Thumerian descendants, but as a normal enemy instead of a boss fight. You'll remember him as being the boss I fought at the end of the last Chalice Dungeon, a good example of the unique content that we miss out on if we skip the stuff altogether. I had a friend that played no Chalice Dungeons and beat the game having only defeated like 15 bosses, I want to say? Maybe maybe even smaller than that? He was very disappointed by how many bosses he missed because he was borrowing his PlayStation 4 from a friend and didn't actually have one of his own, so he only had a limited time to do it and he missed a ton of content on accident. And what, having to clear the game from scratch was just not the best option. There's that, uh, that's the same pit I climbed up. That, there was a ladder I climbed up because I was trying to avoid all the fire. What well, looks like explosives in that room because I'm, I'm sure that guy was going to try to throw... Well, he did try to throw fire bombs at me. So getting the hell away from obvious explosions is a good way to avoid getting blown the hell up. Anything to the left? Nothing apparent. You're not tricking me. I see you laying there. Oop. Dogs, T time to be careful. You always want to wait. I've noticed that you always want to wait for the dogs to attack you. When they're the aggressors, you can dodge their attack and hit them when they're weak. It's really bad to be the first to attack them because they usually get their attack off faster. Watch out for this little guy, little witch of little witch of Hemwick Lane. There we go. 
their fire spells are dangerous. But if you're careful, you might be able to avoid having one happen altogether. Is that already the boss gate? Alrighty then. We'll see how it goes. I don't remember if there's a... I'll take a quick look around. There's probably more stuff to explore. But we already have access to the boss fight itself. Alrighty then. It, there, I, I admittedly can probably get away with a little less exploration in these in these runs. Uh, just because a lot of the stuff isn't super mandatory. I do know that the Hintertomb Chalice, though, is found in a hidden area. Like, when you, when you, do, when you go through lower... Was it the central? Or it might have been... I think it was the central Thamarian Chalice Dungeon, not the lower one. I don't, I don't think I've played lower yet. Uh, as you go through the central area... Uh, you can beat all three bosses without getting the Hintertomb Chalice, which is how you fight this... Fight through this area I'm doing right now. So if you want to get this, you actually have to fight through a side area and open up a chest. So... That's your primary incentive to explore, is that you need to unlock the, uh... Next piece of the dungeon that way. It's interesting, if you... There's actually a flowchart you can look up... That shows you the detailed map... Basically... Of, uh... All of the Chalice Dungeons, which actually do have, like, a hierarchy... Both in difficulty and, like, you have to unlock them within each other, usually. Alright, I'm gonna run straight at this guy and try to get my upgrade items from him. And he's probably gonna... Oh! He went down fast. Oh, no. Not as much of a trap as I was expecting it to be. It's them trying to lull me into a, a false sense of security, though, so next time I'm not ready. I'm not falling for your crap, game. I ain't falling for nothing. I've never fallen for your crap, ever. I'm too smart for you. It's a good thing that no one else edits these videos, because if I had if I had my own Barry or Kevin or whatever, they would be showing a montage of me fucking up right now. But instead, I can just use the, sh the short uh, memory span of the, uh, of the internet to pretend that nothing's wrong. So we're definitely getting newer enemies. We're getting these these taller, really like the, is it they live? Is that the thing that I'm thinking of, where the guy just like points and screams in a really creepy way? Uh, we're getting more of these weird, ghastly characters that are. Rem I just triggered a trap, and I'm fine. They're reminiscent of. Oh God! Hey, ghost lady. Gotta watch out for that little that little burst. There we go. They basically, they look like the beast, the, the beast we've seen elsewhere, but they're taller and have long, they have longer limbs, but they're also wider. Like, they don't have fur all over their bodies. Which is weird. It makes them most directly reminiscent of the Snatcher out of all the enemies we've seen. Hello. Obvious trap. Let's see if I can abuse this. Oh, it's one of those fast characters. He's na oh, God. I don't want it. I don't want none of it. Yep, and win. <laughs> All right, let's take care of these guys before the back that uh that uh backfires on me. Get it? Backfires because I'd probably walk onto the step with my back facing them, and then I'd get shot in the fire back, which would make my fire my my back on fire, and it would be it'd be backfire. There we go. Yeah, this kind of chest is how I got the hinder tomb chalice. So yeah, you definitely want to look around for them. Right now, that right now they're just giving me more ritual blood to ensure that I'm capable of entering various dungeons in the future. In this case, there was no chance of me finding a new dungeon in there simply because I've already done this one before. But I am humoring it because you guys haven't seen it. Hey guys, anyone gonna attack me in a spooky room down here? I'm definitely happy I got the hand lantern because you can't see shit around here. Always happy to find the door that's not open yet. Means I still have ground to cover. Oop. Wow, lots of doors I haven't opened yet. So what is this connected to? Have I been to the top side yet? Hello, friend. Is this connected to anything in particular? Just a dead end? There may have originally been a progression-based chest up here the, la the last time I went up here. No way of telling now. Footage doesn't exist. Am I back in the main chamber? Oh, yep, there's the bell area. So we can just backtrack straight- hello, hello friend. What are you doing here? Haven't I been here before? Did I run right past you and you woke up and you just didn't hit me? <laughs> Alright. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, it's a man eater boar. No, it's cool. I got a lot of experience fighting these guys. You don't even know how good I am at fighting these guys. Oh, don't want- please don't- ow. That was the exact thing I was hoping wouldn't happen. Is the thing where you potentially one-shot me. 
Definitely want to get in melee range with these guys as fast as possible. Because they're just so much less threatening. They got a, they got a handful of flailing attacks and stuff. Ow! And a nasty kick. But the last thing you ever want them to do is charge you, because that's just so goddamn damaging. Just gonna wail on him for a while. God, that, that knife... That dagger combo is brutal. There we go. Yeah, the boars are never very dangerous. Man-eater boars have higher... I think they have higher damage. And way... Clearly have higher, higher hit points, but uh... Their primary threat is just the fact that they are capable of... Basically one-shotting you with that with that goddamn charge if you get cut off guard. Alright, layer two. Glancing at the time on the recording, we might actually beat this entire Chalice Dungeon in one episode. Which would certainly be faster than it was when I originally did it, but... I'm sure I'm significantly higher level now as a result. We've definitely missed a few along the way by going too fat by uh... Not doing that as many Chalice Dungeons as the game probably wants us to do progression-wise. Since I think, I think Chalice Dungeon layers, I think there's six layers, and if I believe layers one through four are, uh, are recommended for first playthrough, and five and six are New Game Plus difficulty. Uh, so, oh, hello, friend. Get out. Ow. Ow. Oh, wow. I completely misjudged the, uh, range of my attacks, didn't I? That's embarrassing. Hey, everybody. All right. I'm just gonna grab items when I can, but mostly run for my life in pursuit of a bell maiden somewhere. I heard her down here, I think. There she is. Ow, 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 what? Rude. Rude. And she's dead, right? Oh, she's not dead. She dead yet? Did I get her in that end part? I didn't really get to see it very well. We did it, okay. Quick antidote. Someone questioned my use of menus. They were like, why don't you... Why don't... Why, I don't understand why you put stuff on that menu. You, you should put on your quick bar that it was in all the other Souls games. But I think that, uh... I think that this quick bar is... Wow, that's a bad example. Let's get rid of that real quick. There we go. The coins. I think the quick bar... This thing right here... Should be used for items that you're gonna use in combat. For combat reasons, like... Throw this thing at the guy. Use this... Activate this to start using magic and stuff like that. And I, and I think this menu should be used for your situational stuff. Heal frenzy. Heal pl uh, poison. Turn on your light. Attach these effects to your weapon. I think that those are most are best used on your quick on your special bar because instead of your instead of your little hot button thing instead of square I mean uh, putting them on the touchpad instead sure you get one more step to activate them but it means that they're not clouding up your your freaking uh, ow you got a hook on his weapon they're not clouding up your uh, cycle because this doing this cycling through this shit to go through like ten weapons is really frustrating. That became a that became a definite issue during the finale of uh not the finale but the uh the last episode of uh, Dark Souls 2's main campaign for uh, Scholar of the First Sin that I just recorded is I I equipped a bunch of throwable weapons and I equipped uh repair powder and I equipped several heal over time spells and those all those items clouded up the uh, thing where once I just wanted to get to my Estus flask I had to, I had to hit down like seven times and hope I'd eventually get to the thing I wanted to. And that's just problematic. By contrast, this, click, just a very, very clean outline of items, and you can just click on one to use it. It's actually easier. If you want a really specific item that you don't use very often, having it visually shown is actually really handy, because this little clicky thing, it's actually a pain in the ass when you, if you don't remember the exact order everything's in and what, exactly how many items there are, you could easily accidentally go right past the item you want and have to go click through them all again because you just skipped it. It's like having a television, and, and you're trying to change the channels, but the only button that works is the one that makes you go up a channel, and you can't go down a channel, and you can't type them in. Like, th that's what this is. This is you scrolling through channels on your television without, and if you miss the channel, you have to go all the way back around. Meanwhile, this is slower, but it's the equivalent of having access to the full keyboard of, uh, buttons to change channel. So when you're in familiar territory, you can go click, 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 and that's really nice, but this is handy for all the weird shit you don't use every day. And so, like, stuff like, uh... It's really useful in this game particularly because, uh... I just walked in a circle, didn't I? There's a- there's something here I haven't explored yet. There we go. It's probably that. Hello, obvious fire trap. Is there someone I can lure to that? 
Is this roughly the same scenario again? No, he's got a gun, doesn't he? Oh god. Oh, there's dogs. There are doggy dogs. Alright. Alright, where's the button? I lost the button. Did I get somebody with that? I did not. I'm gonna die now. Oh god, I really am gonna die now. They did a shocking amount of damage. Alright, dog's down. Oh man! Why are you the fastest thing alive? Sanic, is that you? You want some chili dogs? Where's the button? I completely- there we go. I completely lost it because it blends in so well. No, I lost it again. Where is it? Oh well. Just gonna have to fight it. Oh, Jesus! She is a danger. He, she, thing, it. I don't know. Let's just get you out of here before I hurt myself with you. Gotta childproof this area. Item? But yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, in uh, Dark Souls, you can get away with not equipping everything to your quick bar because, uh... How often did you get poisoned in that game? Or, more specifically, how often did you need all the other things that weren't poison? Like, poison was, th poison was the thing that you would rarely need, and everything else was stuff that you basically never needed. I gotta get my curse resistance up, and stuff like that. But this one, frenzy's c fairly common, and uh, poison's fairly common, so in, in both cases, it's handy to have quick access but something that doesn't clog up your use of everyday functions. And I'm lost a little bit, aren't I? Have I used this ladder yet? I think I may have gotten turned around. Oh well, I've got, I explored a bit, opened some chests. I think this is the boss chamber again? Alright, yeah, I'll just accept that and move forward. I may have not fully explored that one, but it's kind of dark and confusing. So what do we have ahead of us? I'm sure they're friendly. Everyone's friendly in Dark Souls. What's gonna happen in here? Hello? Oh, there's the boss chamber. Just gonna take care of you real quick, I hope you don't mind. That's devastating. Oh wait, did I never open the door? Have I- have I managed to get completely confused? I thought I opened a door already. Oh wait, no, I just began- I'm an insane person, didn't I just begin- I just- that's what's going on, is I just began a new area. Okay. I just began a new area and that was the side dungeon before you start the real dungeon. I got completely turned around on that part. Oh! Slow poison on the ground. Oh! Dude, oh! I got poisoned anyway. Alright. Let's deal with that before it starts doing a lot of damage to me. I should have a lot of antidotes, so I'm not overly concerned about using up my supply right now. Oh! That's just rude, buddy. Ah! Oh, no! I meant to dodge away, not attack away. <laughs> that was stupid. My character turned in the opposite direction and attacked. I'm like, no, that's not what I wanted at all. How did I do this to myself? Any bad guys or, or stuff stashed around here? Nope, just a staircase to nothing. You know, as they're like to be. Is this the Winchester Mansion? It's like, I built this to confuse the ghosts that haunt my dreams. And here we have one of those big canned areas. Just like we have that giant garden in one of the other areas that has the weird centipede monsters that shoot magic at you and the respawning bell maiden enemy ca characters. Now we've got a now we've got a giant blight town style area of the likes. Or I guess uh, va uh, va probably Valley of Defilement is the best. Yeah, especially with that big brutish guy hanging out in the middle of it. This is definitely a comparison to uh, this is definitely comparable to Valley of Defilement specifically. I'm gonna take the long way around. So we're gonna have access to the ground floor soon enough, but there could be other stuff around here that's worth looking at. Could be anything involving including the switch itself. Where you at, lady? Lady I wait for you. Oh she's gonna be creepy about it, huh? She's not gonna just respawn and attack me? No? Alright, that's gonna be a problem if she shows up later. Oh, poison. Poison bad. Am I under attack? Not under attack yet. Alright. No, there she is. There she is. She's a little... Oh, no. Oh, God. That was... You were way more aggressive that time. I didn't like that. You tricked me. Give me a false sense of how uh, passive you are. Okay. 
Let's check out this ladder. It's the safe way down. Because I'm such a safe person. Hello. Sorry, I need your innards. They're very important to me. Gotta get all those special, uh... All those special gemstones. Specifically the ones that you get in a... Oh, oh god. That was a poison cloud. That was not a that was not a fog cloud. That was not just smoke for for blocking my line of sight. Hi everybody. You having a good old time? Being weird plague people? There might have been an item over here, but I don't remember. Let's take a look. But basically we're here in a big creepy plague area, and it's sort of uncertain platforming that I should not be running across probably. Few items stashed throughout, but also poison all or oh god. Po okay, cannon bad. Cannon bad. Okay. Okay, I did not realize he could shoot up here. Let's get down here. Let's get down. Let's get down. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, how's it going? Don't mind me, I just have the ability to teleport like a motherfucker. This doesn't end well for you. Ow. I meant to teleport, but I must have queued up one more attack than I wanted to. Alright, so he wasn't too tough. We got that taken care of. Oh, oh, I'm not teleporting anymore. Okay, awkward. Just trying to collect items in the environment without freaking dying in the process. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna have to accept the poison. Alright. Four blood vials. It's worth it. Probably. Unless I just use up all that blood vial trying to cure this damage I'm about to take. I'm just going to grab every item I can in this poison area as fast as possible. And probably use one blood vial to cure up afterwards. Oh, hey, guy. Just hanging out upstairs, being a creeper. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need that antidote now. There we go. So, snakes and rats. Our favorite things in the world... Just when you thought you might have been done with the snakes in this game. Well, maybe we are. He's dead. Is that guy upstairs going to attack me? You're just going to camp around? I'll be coming back to get back up, so it's not. I'll just leave him for now. Oh, give me your upgrade items that are probably completely outside of my level range anyway at this point. <laughs> oh, never mind. They're gemstones. I forget. I keep forgetting they're gems instead of uh, upgrade items around here. They probably didn't want to mess up the difficulty curve by letting you over-upgrade. They wanted to keep that balanced, regardless of how much chalice you play. These guys could be a problem, so I'm trying to ferry them around here if I can. If they'll attack me over here. There we go. That was not what I, what I wanted to do. There we go. I was going for the AoE attack, somehow managed to do a jumping attack. Apparently I forgot what buttons do and how to operate a... Things... Heavy machinery. Oh god. Oh god. Fast lady is here. Alright. I'd prefer to fight fast person one on one. Ow. Dodge! Get out. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. That went poorly for me. I sometimes attack somebody in the middle of their attack animation thinking it's going to interrupt them, forgetting that that's not how the daggers work. Not usually, anyway. It's usually just a way to get my, sh my face kicked in. Like a boss, as you might say. Get out of here. Sorry I had to murder your face off. I mean, you kind of deserved it because you're being all creeper and shit with your freaky face. You should stop having a freaky face. Tell your parents to have different genes. That's how that works, right? Just, just, you just talk to them about it and then they change their mind. <laughs> so now I need to backtrack. We are in full on backtracking mode. In fact, after killing this guy, I think I just have to walk through a bunch of area I've been through before. Rude we get. So I'll just see you guys when I get back to the uh, the open area, because I just have to run backwards now across the bridge. 